Hi everyone, in this video I'll be going over a grasshopper script that allows you to create a twisted uh, form and so um, this is this can be used for uh, architectural form finding um, and for you know 3d printing which I've been getting into so um, I'll be showing you what it you know how, how to get this done okay so to start we're gonna use a polygon so let's type that in so it's this uh, component polygon and we have it down here it's giving us a shape of six so it's going to give us a hexagon a radius of three it's going to be in the zero 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 and the, there's going to you can create a fillet and right now it's at zero so let's uh, create a slider for the radius and so you control that and um, let's do a fillet create a slider of five and it'll be a range of from zero to ten you can fill it that radius and um, you can also you know you can use that same slider and do a so now that object is a ten sided object you can go all the way down to three so let's make that a minimum of three there we go we have the various shapes and a fillet we can create. So with this shape, we can um, start moving it up and uh, creating offsets. That way we can, you know, create some interesting forms. So let's do that. Let's move this geometry in the Z direction. Let's do a unit of copy the slider over of forty. So now we move that up, and we want to create another one at the same distance up. So we're gonna create that slider. We're gonna do a ver uh, Z direction but since we want it uh, twice as far we're going to multiply and we can create a slider for now of two and then we can plug in that 40 multiplied by two this should give us 80 in the z direction and so we basically have that radius that we can increase and decrease and uh, we could also adjust the height and then here you see how someone might just start pushing that up um, I guess that, that would be an interesting thing because it might create a different a different shape but then if we want that we want would want to create a range that way we, it could be subtle uh, so let's keep it here at two so we have these three shapes now the idea is to be able to adjust these shapes accordingly so let, let me show you what I mean we want to be able to we're gonna hide those and we're gonna offset them so let's offset uh, let's do 10 here just because we don't want to we don't want to do it too much and then we'll do two offsets and we we do want two different sliders so never mind that we we're going to create two different offsets with two different with two different curves the the middle one and the top one so let's plug that into the top and let's plug this into the into the bottom or it should be the opposite um this should go up this should go down because this is a curve that's at the top and this is at the curve that's in the middle so we'll keep it kind of consistent that way um, but there we go this way and this way so now we can offset this one and we'll do a minimum of minus 10 and we'll do the same thing with this one and we'll erase that slider that way we can also go in so 
We'll take these two and we'll hide them because now we want to use these that we now can offset. So, okay, let's keep it consistent here. So now we have the initial curve and these two that can be offset. Okay, our next move is going to be two. Let me show you the the idea. So if we loft these together, these together right now, we'll start with the first one, continue with the second one, and then go to, with the third one, and then flatten it. And I'll show you, now we have that basic form. But what we want to do is take this top, top uh, form and rotate it twice as much uh, we'll rotate it and then rotate this one half as many times okay so we have that um, these three curves and now we're gonna take the top one and we're gonna rotate it so there's this component called rotate and um, let's just plug in that geometry and as you can see it's giving us a default of 0.5 times pi so we don't want that we want degrees and we want to be able to control that in degrees so 180 degrees uh, let's do 360 degrees to be the max and we'll start at zero so we have that and then we want to also rotate that bottom one so let's hide this one we also want to rotate at that bottom one but not that same amount we want to rotate half so let's divide it And we want to set an item or set a data item of two. So we just basically want to divide by two. And then we can plug that into the angle. And we can plug in this geometry. So if we rotate the top one, the middle one also rotates but half. And so we can loft. Now we can loft together these three curves the initial curve, the middle curve, and the top curve. And we can flatten those together and start rotating. And so that's giving us a pretty cool form. But at some point, at 360, as you can see, we do a full rotation we start losing some of that form but you as you can see here we do have the ability to offset this to the outside make that a little bit bigger and change the quality here to high quality and so now we're we're talking pretty interesting cool form in my opinion here and we did that fairly quickly now I'm gonna bake it and show in this rendered mode that you know we have a it's a pretty complex shape and now we can mess around with some of the parameters here this creates a softer softer form And so now that we have this form, we if you want to make it into a complete solid, there's a few uh, few tricks that are pretty simple um, that will give you a thickness perfectly offset on this. So let me show you those steps. All right. So we 
I forgot to show that we could also, I mean, go ahead and change the, the polygon shape. And we get a, some pretty cool forms that are pretty minimalistic. And we can kind of change that. So, okay. Now that we have that, let's leave that at 4. And let's hide that and show that we have those three initial shapes. So we're going to offset the curves. So this will give us the inside part. We're going to offset the initial curve. And as you can see, it's offsetting it out, which is fine. Um, a default amount, so let's do uh, 5. So we're offsetting it out 5. We're going to do the same thing for the middle one and we're going to do the same thing for the top one and we're going to do the same thing we're going to disconnect all of these but we're going to plug in all of these again so the first one the second one and the third one let's preview that let's preview this so, as you can see, I offset the wrong ones. I was supposed to offset the rotated ones. So let's do that again. Let's plug in the bottom, the middle one. And let's plug in the top one. So if we preview it, we have both in, inside and outside. shapes okay so now we have those shapes we have top loft bottom loft it's a matter of just putting them together if you want it if you want that to be a complete solid so how we do that is we cap holes the, what that does is it'll create this into a solid and this into a solid so we're gonna hide these I'm gonna create caps on both of these And uh, we have the outside and the inside. And so if this is the outside and that's the inside, when we do a Boolean difference, so solid, dif uh, solid difference, outside is A and inside is B. So that's going to be, this, this one's going to go to B, this one's going to go to A. I'm going to hide them first. That way, I can see the result right away. And there we have it. It's a perfect solid. And it's controlled with this offset. And we'll make it a minimum of point or of 1. max of 10 increase the radius here let's increase the height okay so now that we have this form um, we're going to create the base for it. So we want it to be the same thickness as the outside. And um, let me give you an idea of what to do. So let's offset that bottom. So we know that this is the bottom curve down here. So let's offset that curve out like four because we want it to be uh, to clear enough so that uh, any part of the shape that's above that um, clips it so we can create a, a good base so even if you did it like to 10 that's fine uh, let's extrude in the Z direction so we're gonna extrude up and we're gonna go 
what, what amount? The same as the thickness. So we know that the thickness is controlled with these curves that we offset with this distance. So let's plug that distance down here. So we see we have an open surface. And if we cap and hide this one, we have that form that's going to create the base. And we're not just going to leave that base there. We're going to have to take a look at this. That's the outside form as a complete solid. So if we take that form and this form and we intersect it. So let's plug that into the top, plug this into the bottom. We have creates that, that surface at the bottom. We can hide these two. And now we have um, the base and the top, which we can, uh, we can put together with a union. Solid union, flatten, hide, and then plug it in. And so there you have it. Whatever thickness the bases or the walls are, the base is going to be the same. And if you wanted to, you can go in here, bring, come in here and put in a different slider. You know, and you can make that a thicker, thicker top or a thicker bottom for that. And so, uh, there we have it. There's a watertight solid with a twisted form. And this could be changed from a regular polygon to like a 10-sided polygon. So this looks more like a, you know, old school vase form. Uh, it's like a twist there. Um, and then we can come in here and we don't have to offset it. We can come in instead. And so if we keep that at zero and this one at zero, we have a twisted form. We can increase the height here. I kind of like that that shape right now. Let's see if this is the Let's do a five here. Let's actually make this an octagonal. And so uh, that's basically uh, what I wanted to show you for the tutorial. I hope you learned something. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Let me know if you have any questions. Uh, for now, I'm just gonna bake it and go into a time-lapse mode to show you a quick rendering of what it would look like. And then I'll also do a 3D print and update of you know, this form or one similar to it, uh, 3D printed. And um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know if you have any questions or ideas for other videos. And uh, thank you very much for watching.